If someone told you that there's a free tool that you could use to save an hour a day with the things that you have to do, and those could be things like writing a um, difficult email that has to be pretty sensitive to the situation, just organizing your thoughts so you can get your to-do list put out in a way that's actually something you can to-do, coming up with weekly meal planning, brainstorming about something you know you just got to figure out, Building your dream side hustle so they can actually earn you some extra money. Think through your retirement savings plan. Come up with ideas of how to redecorate your home. And even more than all this, would you try it? Now, what if I told you that that tool is called ChatGPT? And your first thought when I say that might be, oh, that's for all those techie people and the people who say that they understand crypto. Honestly, I'm just trying to keep my plants alive and remember at least a few of my passwords when I have to. Well, I'm going to encourage you to think again and think differently about it. Because I'm 56, and honestly, I use ChatGPT every single day, usually multiple times a day. Not because I have to, but honestly because I'm starting to think I'd be crazy not to. Hey, I'm Diane. Like I said, I'm in my mid-50s. And I've started this YouTube channel to help my fellow folks who are over the age of 40 to have more influence in life and have, hopefully have the opportunity to earn some more income at the same time. Now, I often talk about building a YouTube channel and I've got a good playlist about how to uh, succeed on YouTube, especially when you're over 40. But because of so many questions that I've been getting, I want to start talking more about how to easily incorporate AI and programs like ChatGPT or Gemini or Grok or any of, any of them that can do the same thing about what we're going to talk about here into your life in a way that makes sense and will make your life easier. So let's hit some of the things that you might have rattling around in the back of your mind about AI and ChatGPT. ChatGPT isn't scary. It's not a robot. It's not going to hack into your bank account. And it's not the devil's tool like your cousin-in-law might have expanded about at your recent family gathering. It's really just a smart assistant that understands your questions and usually why you're asking them. And then it gives you actually helpful answers in most cases. Think of it like the most well-read connection that you ever had. And they, they don't get tired and they don't judge you for asking stupid questions. And they're never going to say, well, did you actually try Googling it first? To use ChatGPT, it's really simple. You just open it up. You can open it up in your web browser. You can put the app on your phone. And if you do that, you can actually even talk to it rather than typing into it. And you, if you're using it on your computer, you're going to type in something like a question or a problem that you want some insight on. And it gives you ideas. It gives you explanations. It gives you lists of things you can do. It gives you messages that you can then maybe put a little bit more into your own language and use. It can give you documented research with all sorts of sources to be able to check out. Recipes with the ingredients that you have. It can set up reminders for you. It can give you pep talks. It can honestly, whatever you're going to type in that you need something from it to provide you, it can give you whatever you need to help you basically be able to take the next step forward. And here's the kicker, it's free to get started, to do all your basic learning of how to use it and get it, get it incorporated into asking some questions and stuff, it's free. And you can try it in five minutes without installing anything into your computer and without having to watch a single tech tutorial as to how to make it happen. So I just wanna share with you a few of the ways that I've used it in the last week. And maybe some of these ideas will help you recognize how you can put it to work in your life and do some of the same sorts of things. Number one, meal planning help. So I opened up my refrigerator and I assessed the situation. And I typed into ChatGPT, I have thought out chicken breast. I have a bag of spinach. I have canned tomatoes. Give me some recipe ideas of what I can use as the three primary ingredients to make a dinner in less than half an hour. It gave me three full dinner ideas. Then it gave me specific instructions as to how I could do it if I wanted to use an air fryer, if I wanted to use my grill, if I wanted to use a crock pot, and other things too. Number two, helping with writing difficult messages. And by difficult, I say the ones you have to be sensitive and you want to say the right things that, that help the situation to be better and not be worse. I think you know what I'm talking about. I needed to say no to going to an event without sounding cold. So I asked ChatGPT for help. Write a kind, gentle message declining an invitation due to 
it's just not a priority for my time right now. What it gave me was spot on. And it came across much more gracefully than what I could have put out of my brain at that moment in time. Number three, help with explaining complex stuff simply. So a friend was asking me some questions about Medicare Part B, of which I really know nothing about at this stage of my life, but I should be learning. So I started doing some research on Google. I found some credible articles to start going through, and honestly, it didn't take very long for me to get overwhelmed by all the stuff that was in them. So I added the links of the articles into ChatGPT and asked it for a simple explanation and summary of the articles. What I got back was a good, simple explanation, and it didn't include a lot of jargon or acronyms or a bunch of other stuff that I didn't understand, and it helped me to get my good introduction to that topic. Number four is just getting ideas, and it can actually help you with ideas in words or ideas in visuals. So maybe by this point in time, you've heard a decent amount from people who say that they, they put in and they want ideas for whatever, for childcare, for decorating, for holidays, for yard work, any of the things that you just want to kind of get some insight on, it can give you some great lists for. But I've recently tried a new thing of having it generate some images for me. And I think when it started with ChatGPT version four, it could start doing that. So I have been wanting to update a few things in my kitchen. Not a huge renovation by any stretch. I just want to refresh some parts and kind of give it a new look without spending a whole ton of money. So I took a picture of my current kitchen and I said those things. Here are some color ideas I have. Here are where I might wanna try this. And here is the amount of money that I'd like to spend to accomplish that. Can you give me a visual of what some of these things might look like with your ideas of how to improve it? And it came back with some images that were great jumping off points. Now. I will give this disclaimer about using any of the AI platforms, ChatGPT, any of the other ones. You're always going to have to do a little work with what you get back. I don't want you to think that, that you, you offer in these questions, you get these magnificent answers back that solve every problem in your life. It's still up to us to use our brains and our wisdom and our accumulated observations of life, especially at our age, to take what we're getting and to give it better ideas and or how to put it into practice or just say, okay, that, that's good. I'm going to use this a little differently over here. It's always something that we're not substituting our brain power with. We are using it as some jumping off points. And with this situation, we're getting some pictures of some ideas of what my kitchen might look like with a few, few different circumstances. It was a great jumping off point. And my fifth example is travel planning without overwhelm or overspending. I used to spend hours bouncing back and forth with maybe 17 different browser tabs open when I was trying to plan a trip. Now, I asked ChatGPT. For example, I typed in, create a five day scenic road trip around a specific destination, you put in where you're going, that features natural beauty, quaint shops, and some really great photo spots, include driving times and affordable lodging ideas. So I got back a fully detailed itinerary with drive times, with suggestions of where to stop for various things, and with even some suggestions of how to save money while doing it. Like midweek stays, like state park passes that you would have to get if you wanted to do this one spe special thing. And ideas of how to book through discount hotel apps that can get cheaper lodging options. So then I followed up with what are 10 free things to do during the month of October in this specific location. Instant list, great ideas. And I think there are things that are really going to help me to save time and money as I continue to plan this opportunity. So all these positive things about ChatGPT, but here's a spot where I think maybe people even in our age demographic get a little cranky about it. Especially us older, responsible, do-it-yourself types. But isn't this being lazy? Shouldn't I just be able to figure all this out by myself? Well, yes, you can figure it all out by yourself, just as you've been doing. But... There's new technologies, there's new advancements, just like we have lived through all kinds of technology advancements in our lives, and we don't wanna just not buy into it because we're being cranky. Here's the deal, using ChatGPT isn't cheating, I think it's just an opportunity for us to use our energy wisely. You're not outsourcing your brain, you're outsourcing the part that drains your energy so you can save the rest of your brain for what really matters. Connection, creativity, communicating, 
It's kind of the same reason we use things like a microwave or Amazon Prime. I think we're allowed to make choices that help us to make our lives easier. All right, so how do you actually get started with ChatGPT? Here's a very pleasant surprise. It's way easier than what you think it might be. Let's remove that biggest obstacle of, I don't know how to do it. Here's what to do. You go to your web browser and you open up a tab. Then you type in chat.openai.com. You sign up with an email and a password like you would with pretty much any other website that exists. Then you'll see a clean page come up with a simple box that says, how can I help you today? No buttons, no big menus, no confusion. Just start typing in like you kind of would to a friend. You can type in things at that point, like what can I make with ground turkey and sweet potatoes? Can you help me write a thank you message to somebody who really helped me with something that was pretty tough? What are five morning gratitude journal prompts that can help me to get my thoughts together in the morning and really pursue a life of more thankfulness? It's that simple. And if the answer you get back is something that you're just like, oh, I don't think I like that, you can help to redirect it more towards the things of what you're looking for. You can type, try that again in a more casual tone. Mm. Make this answer sound warmer and more friendly. Or if it's something long and complicated, ask it to summarize it into an easy to read checklist. You can't break it. You're not gonna look dumb and it's not judging you. It's there to help get you the answer that you want. And the nice thing about it is that you can keep, you know, redeveloping your prompts as you go. The, the more specifics you put into it, the better the answer is gonna get back for you. And if you don't know how to start with a specific question, you can just start really generally and with the answers it gets, keep getting a little deeper, keep getting a little bit more locked in as you go. And I think it's gonna to start to come a little bit more your way with the answer that you're hoping for as you continue to redirect and give it more information as you go. So there's a reason I talk about this now and that I anticipate I'll be talking about some more in some future videos. So I'd love if you'd subscribe is because AI is way more approachable than just for businesses or for people who build websites. It's honestly for real people living real lives that just need some help to get started on something and they wanna keep their brain a little bit less occupied with the chaos and outsource some of the thinking that has to be done on answers that AI is in a place to help you with. I find that it helps me to stay more focused more uh, energetic with my ideas because I'm, I'm getting uh, things that kind of pull them out of me a little bit more with ChatGPT. I find that using ChatGPT helps me to get things done more efficiently, helps me to stay more focused, and it's helping me to get even better ideas because it's just kind of sparking thoughts in me that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't seen what it had given me as far as the suggestions go. I think it could do that for you too. You don't have to be a tech guru to do this. You just have to be curious enough to give it a try. And as I mentioned, it's free to start. Now, as you would start using it more intently and you know would wanna use it for more, maybe difficult types of things or more frequently, yeah, there is a paid plan. I think it's like 20 American dollars per month to get started with that. And that gives you an awful lot of usage with it. But as you're just checking it out, you don't have to spend a dime. You can just try it out for free. So if you've ever felt like the world's moving faster than you're able to catch up with it, Using something like ChatGPT can help you to gain more ground. You can even open it up and type something like, I'm brand new to this. What are three things that you can help me with today? And you might be surprised about what happens next. Hey, I appreciate you watching. I'm glad you're interested. And as, as I grow in figuring out more things to do with it, I want to share them with you too. So I'd love if you subscribe. I talk about things like AI and I talk about things like how you can earn money um, using things like a YouTube channel and things of where you can have a side hustle income that primarily comes from the internet. And I think AI is going to be a huge factor in all of that going forward. So I'd love if you subscribe so we can keep talking about these things. I really appreciate you watching. We've got a lot more to talk about it and I'll do my best to try and explain it simply and in a way that's easy for you to get. And if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, which I hope you are, I did go a lot more in depth with how you can use ChatGPT prompts to really help your creativity along and it can really help to build your channel and understand really what's working on YouTube at the time and get better ideas. I have a link to that video here. I'd love if you'd watch that one next.